Dear Mr. Brown, uh, we'd like to send you a tool for you to do a review on. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's nice. Uh, I don't do tool reviews. I've never done tool reviews and I have no intention of starting now. We will send you out a free Shapeoko 2 from Inventables. That is a lot. I think I'm going to need a little more room here. I suppose. I'm going back now. V wheels and idlers. A lot of work required to assemble the machine is done in this step. It's not hard work, but it'll take a while. Just like long division. I suck at long division. Two, five, three, one, two, two, five, two, seven, eight, five, two, eight, sevens, and two, five, three, one, twos. I really like this idea that all of the tools required for this assembly come with it. I think that that is a fantastic idea. Okay, one bearing. Let's do this 19 more times. This step is the bulk of the work. I thought you said the last step was the bulk of the work. There are two different styles of plates that we will be assembling. 12 V bearings. We'll need 36 washers, 25287. Well, the first one it said a lot of work, but it's like long revision. And the second one said the most of the work is done here. And so I'm starting to wonder if they're just going to say that every single step. You know, it's like when you ask your parents, how long before we get there? And they say, we're almost there. We're almost there. At two and a half hours in, I have my bearings assembled, I have all four of my carriages assembled, as well as my spindle assembled. Um, it is definitely a time intensive process. Brass Standoff Spacer PS 2014. Alright, well everything else has been here, so... I don't see that part anywhere. A single piece of machined brass on initial kits. Currently, this is a threaded aluminum rod, 3385. Okay, so the insertion nuts go in the back, and then what? Okay, so I'm turning this threaded rod. That is what is going to raise and lower this platform. So, four hours and 30 minutes in, this is what I have to show for it. This piece and these two pieces, and very few bolts and bits left. Let's continue on. The gantry. Note the pieces of the maker slide used in these steps must have threads cut in them. So that took an hour. But um, in addition, I also broke my tap. Um, and so I went a little slower and a little less aggressive. So I'm in about an hour and 20 minutes just doing the four times four, so 16 taps. Okay. Beautiful sight. 
The last step is to do the wiring, and the wiring is very straightforward. It is basically just extending wires from each of the stepper motors, the control module. But since the wires don't reach, you have to solder them to other wires or use terminal blocks to connect them. That seems to make a horrible sound. With any luck, we should be running our first program. Seem to be doing very poorly, actually. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it works. <laughs> so the shop is still in disarray and I'm working on it. I'll get it back together. But um, I wanted to kind of give my feelings on the build. Um, it was intimidating. I think, I think that's the honest opinion is that it was a definitely an intimidating build. Um, I, I love the idea of what I can do with this new desktop CNC and I'm very excited to put it to use. Um, but uh, at first I was nervous about using a machine that was going to be put together by, uh, by me, <laughs> but assembled by me. But the directions were good and, um, and they estimated 10 hours for assembly time and my assembly time was around 7 hours and then my wiring was another hour and then um, getting the machine running, uh, the actual software and tweaking that, fine tuning it, was probably at least another hour. So I'd say I'm right around 10 hours. I think I totally fit in with the standard 10 hour build time from unboxing to the Hello World experience, which is what that is called, draws its name. <laughs> um, my spindle is mounted and all of my wires are managed. Um, and they suggested that you you know, you cover these in something, but I really like the look of the wires, so I'm kind of a nut for the colors. Uh, this will not change the way I do projects, but it might allow me to make new things that I was not able to make before. YouTube producer will receive one Shapeoko kit with all the necessary components to get started. I did. YouTube producer will produce a video on YouTube with their honest review of the unboxing, assembly, and Hello World experience. I have. Include a three-second Inventables roll at the beginning of the video. I did. Place links to Inventables in the video description. I have. As well as clickable graphics in the video if standard practice. It is not. Include a link to Inventables in other places where the video is posted, shared, such as blogs, Twitter, or Facebook. I will. And disclose that the kit was sent to them at no cost by Inventables for review. I think you got that. Anyway, I want to thank Inventables for allowing me this process, and I want to thank my viewers um, for sitting through what I know is an unconventional video for me. So I do appreciate it, and I think that this device will well serve future videos coming down the pipe. All right, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.